All right. Are you ready for the hype of stream you're going to see all month? Yeah, I know this isn't the most exciting game in the world, but I've been having fun with it. It does have some issues, but they the devs are wor are hard at work on it. Um, I did join their Discord, and they try to produce a patch for the game every week to try to fix stuff about it. And th there are definitely some things that they've done that have greatly improved the game. Other things that I don't care so much about. But anyway, hey, Ratmus, you're probably the only one who cares about this stream, but that's fine. Tannins percent. Yeah, like, there, there's a challenge mode in this game, and, uh... That would be interesting if there was one that was tannin-focused. So... I don't need, I don't remember, like, where we were at at the end of the the second stream. The only one with guts to stream Twilight Princess left-handed, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've made a lot of progress since then. It is now the end of Autumn 2036 in the game. So, uh... It's after the harvest season. I think I've harvested, like, pretty much as many grapes as I can. If I go to the cellar here, yeah, I've had, I have Nebbiolo, I have Chardonnay, Arnay, and I have Barbera. Did I bottle anything recently? That's not gonna tell me. We got four different kinds of uh, twenty thirty five wines. This is like one of the highest stocks of wines that I've had in a while. I, I was like getting to a point where I was selling them out like, right in time for the next harvest, and it was making me kind of worried because... Like, if I sell out all my wines before the next harvest, or, or rather, before the next, uh, session of w wine making, but before the next bottling, I guess you could say, then I'd have nothing to sell, and I wouldn't be making any money. The scores here are not particularly good, because I've been, uh, hit with a couple of heat waves, which reduces the quality of your grapes. Both last year and this year had heat waves, so that was not good. But I'm still making money, just not as much as I would otherwise. So yeah, where do I start? I know that when when the second stream of this ended, I only had two vineyards. I had Brico, which is where I grow my Barbera, and I had Principe, which is where I grow, well, which was then my only source of Chardonnay. But since then, I've bought more land. I bought Roche. I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm not Italian. Uh, which is where I planned a Nebbiolo, although it turns out that, uh, this is not, this is not good soil for Nebbiolo. I found that out the hard way once I started producing the wine, but I still make money from it, so I don't really want to change what I've got going here. 2013 Napa Valley. Oh, yeah, I, I, I know I mentioned this on, uh, Discord, but yeah, they're they're working on a Napa Valley DLC for this game, which has me pretty hyped because that way I'll uh, I'll be more familiar with the wines there than the these Italian wines. <laughs> and then let's see. Is this the one that I just planted. Yeah, 
I've recently bought this one and planted more Chardonnay on it. Bowtie pasta, nice. Oh, okay, and then here's my last vineyard. This is where I planted Arnay. I think that's how you say that. It looks like a French word. Um... So... The board here, where you, where you put down all your Tetris pieces that represent the, the tasks that you want to perform, that's quite a bit bigger than it was before. At the beginning of the game, it was a measly 3x3 three three square, so it's quite a bit bigger than that now. Eventually, it will be, let's see, a 1, 2, 3, 4, f a 4x4 four four square, I think, at the end. But I've got a ways to go before I can get there. Yeah, so I've got like one, two, three, four, five board upgrades and then six more to go to max it out. And my uh, my tool shed, my winery, and my warehouse are all level three. They were all only level one during the previous stream. I had not upgraded them at all yet. So what that does when you upgrade them is it gives you more space to put tools or winery-related facilities or warehouse-related buildings, whatever the case may be. And it also allows you to get new technologies, like for the, the tool shed, the level 3 tool shed allows you to get the RNA grapes, it allows you to get employees, which let you do tasks on vineyards without you having to spend time on them yourself. You do have to pay them, but it's nice because it frees you up time to do other stuff. And I got the weather station, which, if I look at the calendar here... Well, actually, since this is the last day of the year, I can't actually see what the, the forecast for the next year is going to be. But it gives you an idea of what to expect for, from the, the weather for, like, the next five days or so. Hey, RPG fan, it's fine, and I'll tell you why. Um, like, if I look at my breakdown of costs and uh, profits here, I'm spending 14,000 euros on planting grapes on a new vineyard. So that's a very unusual expense. That's not one that you have very often in this game. Uh, you really only need to do it once per vineyard to get started on it, unless you would later need to uproot things and plant something else. But, uh, yeah, so that 14,000 euro cost is going to be a one-time thing, and then I won't have to worry about it anymore. Hey, Luna. <laughs> so, yeah, the next turn I should be making a profit again. Oh yeah, and then I've got the cab tractor here, which is really helpful because it speeds up the uh, the harvest, so you can harvest your grapes faster. You can do it in one turn, rather than the, the default three turns that it takes. And this is my level two stuff that I got. Hey, you know, Streaka, welcome. Is that... that's an Ultros emote. Do you even know who Ultros is? <laughs> You're pretty tired, gotcha. I've created types of pruning, which that's like something that you do every year in winter to uh, improve the quality of your resulting wines. <laughs> Luna. The repair workshop, that actually got upgraded in uh, a patch. What, what the repair shop used to do is, like, so you can see I'm repairing my cab tractor here right now. Hey, Rock, by the way. Um, 
What it used to do is if you were repairing multiple things in one turn, um, the repair workshop used to speed up the repair time of one of those. But they patched it and made it so that it speeds up everything that you repair on any turn. So that's really nice. Let's see, what else do I have? Trimmer, which allows you to do trimming operations. I don't know exactly how that helps you, but I know it does. I forget, like, I'll, I'll have to look at the, like, description of it once it gets to that part of the year where, where you do trimming. I, yeah, I did see that rock. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I'll get it tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get it tomorrow. Yeah, then I already talked about the meteorological station. It tells you what the weather's gonna be. For the winery... I've got three fiberglass tanks, which are like the, the basic tanks that you get for storing your wine. And then I got a concrete tank, which has a greater capacity. It's got 4,300 gallon capacity, whereas the fiberglass tanks only have about a, a 3,300 gallon capacity. Now, I haven't actually needed more than the maximum amount a fiberglass tank can hold. But since joining the Discord for this game, I've seen people who have been able to produce a, an absurd amount of wine in a single harvest, so clearly there's a way to need a higher capacity. I just haven't figured it out yet. And then barrels. Um, so aging. Aging is a huge component of this that you don't start out with, and the game doesn't really tell you that you should get this as soon as you can, but it's super important because it increases the body of your wine, which was something that I was complaining about for those entire two first streams. I was like, I don't know how to increase the body of my wine. How do I do that? I'm always at like a 2 out of 10 body, but well, this is how you do it. You age it in barrels. And in fact, I think, yeah, I've got a Nebbiolo and, and a Chardonnay that are aging right now. So well, th th those will get done in a few turns. Um, so the, the traditional cask increases the body a little more than the large cask, and then there's also a small cask, which you can purchase later. I don't have the ability to do that just yet, though. Well, then you're probably fucking yourself, Ratmus. <laughs> Um, I bought a second bottling machine because I'm producing so much more wine per year now. I wanted to have two bottling machines to be able to... I, so I don't have to wait for one machine to finish before I start bottling another wine. And then you usually have to clean it after you finish using it. Presses... I only started out with this one vertical screw press. And now I've got three additional automatic vertical presses, which are, are better. They get you a slightly higher yield and slightly higher quality, and they uh, they press in fewer turns. I think it takes two turns to use the vertical screw press usually, and one turn for the automatic. And apparently I don't have any rooms here. Yeah, there's only one room you can buy for the the winery, and that's the yeast lab, and I'm still a ways off from being able to get that. <laughs> Time to make it number one. Now, the warehouse is super important to upgrade, because not only does it give you more space to, to put buildings and stuff here, but if I look at my... Uh, my wine orders. At the beginning of the game, I was only able to do five orders every turn. 
Now I can do 15. So I can make a lot more money per turn, provided that I'm making enough wine to sell th than I was when I was only ha having five orders a turn. I believe Italy is number one, because every... Every region in Italy is a wine-producing region. Um... Let's see, was I gonna say anything else, else about the... Oh yeah, there's, there's more stuff in the warehouse here. Um, I might have bought these pallet racks on stream, that just gives you more storage space for your bottles. And then, yeah, these rooms are definitely new. I have a shop. The, the shop is pretty nice because what it does for my orders here... When I first started this game, I'd have to look through all these orders and click on the ones that I wanted to sell to. <laughs> Afghanistan. But I don't have to do that anymore. Um, with the shop, it automatically allocates orders for you based on... Huh, this is not in English right here, this uh, Priorita Ordini. Maybe that's something that I should bring up in the bug report uh, on the Discord. But yeah, like you can... Right now I have it set to lower discount, meaning that it automatically chooses the orders that you're getting the best value for. But you can also change it to highest bottle quantity. I don't really know why you would want to do highest bottle quantity. But you can also change it to highest income. So if you've got like a big surplus of wine, then you can choose this to just like... S ha have the game choose for you what will make you the most money, even if it ends up uh, using a lot of bottles to get that. And then you can, yeah, I guess you can choose the automatic or order management to go... You can choose private customers, private and restaurants. Apparently you can't have it choose, uh, supermarkets. I have sold to supermarkets a couple of times. Like, yeah, this one right here, this Chardonnay 2035, that, that symbol is a supermarket right there. They usually will buy a lot from you, but at a pretty low price. Whereas the the private consumers will buy a fewer amount at a higher price, and then the restaurants are somewhere in the middle. I'm apparently not selling any to restaurants in this particular turn here. Okay, and then, yeah, and then I've got a tasting room, which gives, just gives you free money every turn. Or, wait, no. That's what the guided tours does. Yeah, the guided tours gives you free money every turn. The tasting room... What does that do again? Oh, it lets you receive a greater number of special orders. So, yeah, the, these right here, where the, the customer asks for something specific and you usually get a good amount of money for it, and it increases your fame. Fame lets you... gives you the right to purchase new technologies, basically. And at the point that I'm at, my fame level is 77.4, which is pretty much higher than I will ever need it to be. Because, like, right here, if I'm looking at this highest level grape that I can get, the required fame level for that is 55, and I'm already well above that. So I ended up, like, getting more fame than I need before anything else. Although, you get an achievement for increasing your fame to 100, and apparently that's the cap for it. So, I'll keep increasing this until I get to 100. A lot of this stuff in the warehouse I haven't messed with. 
Like, I, I bought the commercial office during those first two streams, and then I decided it was costing me too much, and I ended up selling it. <laughs> Fucking uh, spaghetti. <laughs> Um, the exhibitions, I didn't realize this because the game doesn't tell you, but I found this out from being in the Discord, that, like, your, your wines get entered into a contest, basically, and if they win, you earn money for it, so... I probably will eventually want to uh, start working on these... Whoa, Cobra Raid. Wait a little bit to... <laughs> in case people have ads they have to sit through. Um, okay, yeah, so another... Another process that I have that I didn't have before is malolactic fermentation, which you do after your normal fermentation. And it reduces the acidity of the wine. So you don't want to do that with every wine that you get, because some wines you want them to be highly acidic. But on ones that you want less acidity, you want to do this first before you go to bottling. Yeah, where did the raid call go? I see Ratmus' raid call. I don't I don't see what happened to yours, Cobra. But welcome. How did your... Uh, I guess you were doing a Sonic 3 and Knuckles glitch fest, if I was reading that correctly. Oh, yeah, here, here's something that was new to me, this real estate bubble. Every time you buy land, it increases the price of all the other plots of land that you can buy for 20 turns. Which doesn't really affect me, because I'm not going to buy, like, one plot of land after the other that quickly. But it's a thing that happens. Marble Garden was jacked up. <laughs> yeah... <laughs> Well, I mean, this is, uh, this is, I'm in the year 2036 now, so yeah, this is well after any of the Yakuza games take place. This one just tells me that no, none of my tanks are available, they're all being taken up with different wines. And then my, uh, disease treatments for my different fields. I've, I've gotten a lot better at, like, keep making sure my fields are treated for diseases. When can I actually start treating them? Because, like, this one, I just started to plant the the grapes, so I guess there wouldn't be any point in treating it right now, because this button isn't even available to me. Why, Walt Disney had to use shell companies to make Disney World, yeah. <laughs> Um, that's probably all I can think of at the moment that I really wanted to go over. There is something that I want to do real quick here. Notice this duck in this pond here? If I click on it, I can give it a name. A good friend is worth their weight in gold. Giving it a name will allow you to recognize it. I think it's, yeah, it's gotta be, uh, quack, quackity, quack. Oh, it's, I, there's not enough characters for that. Uh, I, I'll just, I'll get rid of the first quack. Quackity, quack. Uh, so yeah, this is a this will actually give you an achievement. I didn't know about it until today. I read the, on the Discord, someone was asking, how do I get this achievement? And then someone posted in a spoiler tag, and I'm like, I don't care about spoilers, I want to know how to get this achievement, so that's how you do it. 
Yeah, apparently you can click on these trees and make them move. Not that it does anything. Um... Yeah, I've just kind of been sitting here on this opening turn, not doing anything yet, just talking about all the things that are that were different compared to the last time I streamed this. So uh, yeah, I I always whenever I save and quit for the day or the night or whatever, I always try to put myself in a spot where I'm ready to move to the next turn immediately. So I should be good to go here. So, let's see what happens here. Yeah, achievement unlocked. Quack. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we got some processes that finished up. I can do pruning for uh, my Arne vineyard. And yeah, it looks like I have room to do that, so I might as well put that down. Uh, what do I want to do for number of buds here? So that this is basically a choice between higher quality or higher quantity. Let me look at my uh, my wine log here. I haven't had Arne around for very long, and yeah, there was that one this year. Something bad happened this year. I can't remember what it was. But I got a really low score. The quantity comes in boxes. Yeah, I guess this is the only other RNA I, got, I made, which is at least... At least it was 54 out of 100. But it still had the... Mercaptan, which is a, a negative flavor. You don't want that. It reduces your rating. I don't know what exactly caused that. It may have been the heat waves that I've experienced over the last couple years in this game. I did get a vanilla flavor. That one's good. Uh, but yeah, how, how many bottles of this did I make? Uh, almost seven... 7,000. And, uh... I did not do any pruning, apparently. So I don't really have any, uh... past data to look at. Yeah, I guess this will be my first time actually pruning with Arne. I guess I... I missed my chance to do it last year. So yeah, it looks like the Gyo Double. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that, but I'm gonna go with it. I guess that's the the best pruning method for this type of wine. I'll do low this time. So we get slightly reduced quantity, but a better quality. And then, yeah, I've got room for fermentation here for my Barbera. Looks like short fermentation is ideally what I want here. And I have a different yeast that I can choose now, which can potentially give your wine a different flavor. I haven't, like, fully figured out what yeast is best to use when. Uh, this one has a, a lower alcohol resistance, meaning if you ferment it for longer, you won't be able to use it. So I tend to use this one when I can do a short fermentation, so I think I'll use it here. And I've been told that you want, for red wines, you want to 
do at least uh, two pump overs per day in order to increase your chance of avoiding the Mercaptan flavor, which will decrease the quality of your wine. So even though this will make my tannin slightly too high for a Barbera, I think I'd rather do that than uh, run the risk of getting Mer Mercaptan. Although, actually, will it even matter? Because the this wine that I'm making right now is the resulting from a heat wave. So I may get really low quality anyway. So actually, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll just do one per day this time. Because I'm expecting this to not be a high quality wine anyway. Oh, I didn't read your description here yet, Kovari. What ha- oh, this, this is what happened in Marble Garden. You went past the Act 1 boss, and the Act 2 boss appeared. You killed him. Castle came down, you struggled to hit it. Got it. Act 1 ended. Act 2 started. It turned night, like, at the end of Act 2. <laughs> that sounds pretty nuts. I'm, I'm gonna have to watch that later. <laughs> Oh, wine for soccer moms. Yeah, I could see that being the case. Okay, uh, so I can see my forecast here for the next five days. Although, this is not telling you what is going to happen. It's only telling you what might happen. Because I've, I've seen instances where... What, what weather I expect to occur does not occur. Okay, so what do I want to, what do I want to do here? Yeah, just like real weather. As you can see, yeah, like I'm making a lot more money this turn. I'll be making 16,000 euros because I don't have nearly as many expenses and it looks like I'm going to be selling a lot of Chardonnay if I decide to go with the uh, the orders that the shop has selected for me. Ooh, okay, so it's selected a... Uh, oh, because I set it to highest income. I didn't actually want to keep it on highest income. I only moved it to that to demonstrate that I could change it. So I might want to change some of this. What do I have the highest quantity of? Arne. And so far I've only got a couple of Arne orders. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel this Chardonnay. Let's sort this by uh, lowest discount. And I've got I've got a decent amount of Nebbiolo. I'll sell this one. And then I think I'll get that RNA as well. I need to get rid of one of these other ones. Let's cancel this one. Okay, yeah, so I'm, now I'm only making 12,000 euros this turn, but it's still quite a bit of profit. I, I have no room on the board to do anything, so, uh... I guess I'll just go to the next turn, then. I'm, I'm kind of not used to going to the next turn that quickly. Usually there's more I need to do. Okay, now there's stuff to do. So I can set up poles for my, uh... G Ginestra, is that how you say that? Since I just planted seeds there, you need to set up poles so that the vines will g grow correctly. So that'll cost me 2,000 to do that. Let's see, what else do I have here? Arne. Does it need malolactic fermentation? 
Have I... I guess I haven't... ...determined what the ideal acidity for RNA is yet. I guess you want it to be on the lower end. So I probably do want a... ...malolactic fermentate... For mal How do you turn that into a verb? Like, malolactically fermented? <laughs> I think I think I want this to go how oh, there's no difference between the medium and long length. I guess it can't the acidity cannot go below two. Hmm. Okay, so if I'm gonna guess at what the ideal acidity for RNA is. Because once you've found the ideal stat for each of these, then you can see it whenever you want. But you have to discover it first. Based on the color here, I'm gonna guess that 3 out of 10 is the ideal acidity for RNA. Also, do I wanna... This is a white wine. Do I want to... Malolactic fermentation first, or do I want to age it first? Like, I can never remember, because the, the order differs between red wines and white wines. Okay, I want, I want to do mal malolactic fermentation first, and then aging, and then bottling. Okay, so like, it looks like the best way to get three acidity is medium with the, the native bacteria. So let's do that. And, uh, yeah, the, the Chardonnay is ready to be bottled. Let's go ahead and set that there. Now, there's more that goes into picking a bottle than I realized I, I learned from some stuff from the Discord. I, I figured that which, uh... Which closure you choose has an effect, but the color of the bottle matters, too. Because if you go for dark or green, that'll reduce your chances of oxidation which is not something you want to happen in your wine. So that's why the, the green bottles cost the most. And it's actually not even that much of an increase. Although white wines usually don't come in like a dark green bottle, but they usually do have like some kind of greenish tint to them. Yeah, sure, let's go with this. So yeah, that's that's gonna cost me 8,500 euros, but that's fine. You, you always expect, like, in the, the cycle of the year, the bottling operation is what's gonna cost you the most. New yeast available. Is that something that I already unlocked, or...? Oh, right, I got this one for... Yeah, that's the one for malolactic fermentation. I guess it's just reminding me of that. So wait, now, let me look at this again. So yeah, I have... I have the winery level to get this stuff here. I really want to get the small cask. Because that will give me more control over the body of my wine. I'll have all three cask types. And the small cask gives you the most. Okay, let's look at my orders here. I've got it set back to lower discount. Which is why I, I'm not immediately making as much. This is a good order right here, though. So is this one at this restaurant. I might want to get those, too. Yeah, let's just discard some of these ones that I'm barely making any money off of. I 
want to sell my RNA as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so yeah, now I'm actually making a profit, despite doing a bottling operation this turn. So that's nice. Um, I can't fit anything else on the board. So let's go to the next turn. Okay, now I've got some space to work with. I can start bottling Nebbiolo. My bottling machines are in decent shape, right? Yeah, yeah, they, they had been cleaned ahead of time. I wanted to put this in the corner, but there's not really a good spot for it. Maybe I'll put it, like, right here. Make 5,000 bottles of Nebbiolo. I'll just stick with this bottle type. Okay, so I can, I can fit my Barbera pressing in the corner here. Let's see. So something I learned to look at, which I, it didn't occur to me during the first two streams of this, if, if you look at this wine data right here, and you move the press intensity around, it'll tell you how much quantity of wine you're going to get out of the press. And if you press it too high in some cases, the quality will go down, but it looks like it's not going to here. And using the automatic press will get you a greater quantity. It does also affect your tannins and body, though, so that's something to watch out for. I feel like I should go... ...up to here, at least just to get one extra tick on the body there. Because I'm going to eventually need to raise the body to this star right here through aging. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, uh, right now I'm not making a profit this turn, but uh, maybe we can change that. Yeah, maybe I should stop doing a lower discount, since I still have a, like a decent... See, I think the main reason I was sticking with... Uh, lower discount was I was holding out for a wine trend because those happen every now and then and it increases the selling price of a particular wine for 10 turns so it's nice to be able to hold on to your wine until the wine trend occurs but yeah some of these uh, some of these are kind of pointless these are like really small orders. Sort of running low on Chardonnay, but I'm also bottling the Chardonnay right now, aren't I? Wow, all the rest of these orders are for Chardonnay. Um...
I mean, I guess I'll do this one. I mean, I want to hold on to some of my Chardonnay until I make my next batch of it. I'm going to cancel that one and sell the uh, Arnay instead. Uh, I don't have any room to clean anything. So I guess I'll just move on to the next turn. Hmm. <laughs> what did I tell ya? Wine trend Chardonnay. So now we can sell Chardonnay at a higher price. And I'm just about to do wine tasting for my next batch of Chardonnay, so... That's good. Go ahead and put that there. I can start pruning on my second field of Chardonnay. Um. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna hope that I don't get another heat wave this year. <laughs> and we'll do a low number of buds. Okay, so there's a lot of options here for my, uh, my operations. Oh yeah, so this was something that got patched recently. Um, if something is dirty, the cleaning card for it will show up automatically. You used to have to, like, go into the winery and click on the cleaning button here. And then you could decide if you wanted to place it or not. Okay, so let's look at this one wine at a time. RNA can either be aged or bottled. I think it needs to be aged. I apparently have not determined the ideal body for RNA yet. Looks like it's it probably wants a pretty low body. Because this color is getting more green as you go to the left here. So maybe 4 out of 10 would be the right value. And what's the body at right now? No, that's the Barbera. Wrong one. Oh, I can't, I can't age... Oh, yeah, I can. It's right here. Okay, so if I age it in a large cask for a short period of time, it'll get four body. That is what I would like to see. Now, where do I want to place this? There's not really a great place to put it. Guess I'll put it right here. Okay, and then Barbera, it should not need to be, it should not need malolactic fermentation because Bar Barbera wants max acidity, so you don't want to reduce the acidity of it. It should need to be aged, though. Yeah, so the ideal body for Barbera is 8. So we'll put it in a traditional cask and age it for a long period of time to get up to that 8 out of 10. Okay, then I've still got room to clean something. I could also put down some treatments for my fields, but I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I've still got at least 7 turns to go before any of these wear off. Uh, do, do any of my tools need? No, my tools are all in good shape, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, so yeah, I should probably do this tank, clean that. 
worry about the vertical press later. Okay, what are we... Oh yeah, I, I still set it to lower discount. I guess that's fine. Oh yeah, now now my Chardonnay is selling for higher than the given price because of the wine trend. I might as well sell as much of the Chardonnay as I can, considering I'm, I'm just about to get more Chardonnay. So I'm selling 58 of it right now. I don't have enough left to do any of these additional orders. I guess I should just stick with what the what it's defaulting to then. Yeah, because I'm getting a higher value here. Alright, I guess we can go to the next turn then. Alright, how did our Chardonnay turn out here? 75! That is not bad at all, considering there was a heat wave. I thought it was going to be worse than that. And I've got 5,000 bottles of it to sell during the Chardonnay wine trend, so that's good. <laughs> this wine has good tannin, even though white wine doesn't have tannins in it. I should have asked them about that on the Discord. Like, why why even is there a tannin rating for the white wines? Okay, I can do wine tasting from my Nebbiolo now. So let's put that there. And I can start bottling my RNA. Is there any way I can arrange this so that I can do two cleanings in one turn? I'm not sure if there is. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm taking up too much space with some of this other stuff. So I guess I'll just have to do bottling and then one cleaning. Due to an issue with radiation. Wow, I'm making 8,700 bottles. It's expected to take three turns. It costs 14,000. Can I reduce the cost of that? Put a screw cap on that. The bottle color actually doesn't change the cost that much. So I guess I'll just do green. I have no idea if there's any benefit to doing the other shapes. I mean, the, like... The other shapes cost more, but I haven't seen anything on the Discord about if there's a, a reason to change the shape of the wine, the wine bottle. Okay, let's just do that. I guess for as many bottles as I'm getting out of this, that cost is not that high. I mean, it certainly changes the how it looks, but in terms of, like, your profit, does it make a difference? I have no idea. And it, it shouldn't change the amount that it holds, because the standard volume for a bottle of wine is 750 milliliters. 
granted there are like half size bottles and there's magnums that have more than that but I'm like I'm fairly certain that uh, these are all like 750 milliliter bottles hold on let me let me redo this just to take a look at it yeah, like, if I change the shape of this, yeah, I'm still getting the same number of bottles, regardless of which shape I choose. Okay, I can leave that how it is. Yeah, that's fine. I've already figured out all that stuff about Chardonnay. Yeah, now that I'm down to a low quantity of this, that's kind of a weird thing about this game. You'll start getting, like, a bunch of small orders for that wine. Which kind of takes up space, unfortunately, on your order queue. It, do it like, prevents you from getting larger orders in, in the same turn. So if I can, I'd like to sell out of this 2035 Chardonnay. So right now I'm selling one... selling nine of them. If I do this four and the six, I can get... The, the total of 10. Or, let's see, I could do this one, this three, and this six. Yeah, let's do that. And that should be, yeah, that's my entire stock of 2035. 2035 Chardonnay. Also, my, I, I am up to 21,000 bottles out of the 35,000 that I can carry in my warehouse right now, which is more than I usually have, which, I mean, I'm fine with that. It means that if I want to start selling them faster, I can. Yes, it is buttloads. Let's just leave that how it is, so that next turn I can start focusing on selling the uh, 2036 Chardonnay. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the means to uh, fulfill any of these special orders right now. If I had a white wine with a quality of 80 or higher, I could, but this Chardonnay is only 75. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not super concerned about fulfilling the special orders right now, because my fame is already so high. Alright, I guess that's good for that turn. How did this Nebbiolo do? 70, which is, considering that this Nebbiolo is on unsuitable terror, that's not bad at all. And I gave it the leather flavor, which, believe it or not, if you're not, if, if you don't drink wine all the time, you might not know this, but leather is a positive flavor in wine. It usually means that the tannins are... Uh, pretty present, and in Nebbiolo they definitely are. It's the tannins! Yeah, like, for Nebbiolo you wanted to have max tannins, and I was able to achieve that here. Okay, yeah, I've, I fully figured out the data for Nebbiolo. Max tannin, max acidity. 8 out of 10 body, 2 out of 10 sweetness. I'm still working on Arne. 
Okay, yeah, so now that it's spring, we have some new operations available to us, weeding and suckering. Um, I have employees working on... Actually, I didn't, I didn't show that off yet. Yeah, go to manage employee here. I have employees working on Roche, Principe, and Brico, which are my vineyards for Nebbiolo, my first Chardonnay vineyard, and Barbera. Uh, hello, slab of bacon. Welcome. Shiraz and calves, okay, so you, you like full-bodied, lots of tannins. I definitely like those as well. Ca Cabernet Sauvignon's my go-to for, uh, like, a steak. But a Shiraz works just as well in many cases. Uh, okay, so yeah, I want to get as many of these going as I can. I can fit one suckering operation. Maybe I can do this a little differently to make more room. Okay, th this will allow me to put one suckering operation and do the cleaning. Okay, so that one's still sitting there, but we'll get to it later. Okay, I want to sell as much Chardonnay as possible, now that I'm in a Chardonnay wine trend. Cancel this one Barbera here. This four Barbera here. Okay, there we go. I'll be, may, be making 10,000 euros this turn. Now, when I get enough money and space, what do I want to focus on next? Because I think, like, pretty much everything I want to do at this point is going to cost me, like, 50,000 euros. Like, the board upgrade that I want next is 50,000. I could get this crawler tractor, but I don't really care that much. It's kind of lower on my priority list. Oh, yeah, the small cask. That's probably what I want next. May well, maybe I could do the local exhibition, too. I mean, I have the money to get that right now if I want it. Because supposedly this will let you uh, earn more money if your wines do well in the exhibitions. And I, I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any extra bottling operations coming up. I think I've taken care of... Let's see, Arnay and Barbera... Oh, no, I, d I, I haven't bottled my Barbera yet. But even so, like, if I spend 20,000, that'll put me at 6,000, but I'm making 10,000, so that'll put me at 16,000. Which will definitely be enough to bottle the Barbera, because that's my lowest yield wine right now. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy the local exhibition. Now, do I need to, do I need a building for that as well? It doesn't look like it. Did the exhibitions just happen? Welcome back, Cobra.
Yeah, ho hopefully the exhibitions just happen on their own. I guess we'll find out. And yeah, I already looked at my orders, so yeah, we're good there. We can go ahead and move on. Okay, so Barbera's available to bottle right now. I can do the suckering for uh, Coste. Yeah, see, I only make... 2,300 bottles a year with Barbera. I was seeing people in the Discord make a, a lot more than this, so I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. I'll just go ahead and make it like that. So this one. Sell this Chardonnay. How much Nebbiolo do I have? I've got quite a bit. Quite a bit, because I've still got 2,800 of the 2,035, and then I just made the 2,036. I should pro yeah, I'm gonna st I'm gonna change this to highest income now. I need to get rid of some of these bottles. I could sell some Chardonnay to a supermarket. But I don't know if I have enough for that. thousand bottles of that, so... Let's do that. Okay, I can do two wine tastings now. Now I've got, I've got more space to work with. I can start cleaning stuff, and I can start putting down some treatments for my vineyards. Ginestra, okay, I can start treating Ginestra now. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Alright, see you, Ratmus. Thanks for being here. Let's, uh, let's start treating Ganistra here for uh, downy mildew, I guess. Doesn't really matter which one. Selling a lot of Chardonnay there. Okay, I think I'm seeing potentially an issue that people were talking about on the Discord where... If you have too much wine, people won't buy, like, your oldest wine. They'll, they'll focus on the newer stuff. 
And I, yeah, I'm actually just at my uh, storage limit here, 31,000 out of 35,000. So yeah, I need to sell this stuff faster. I mean, that's, that's fine how everything's at right now. Wine tastings, 62, which, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have any negative flavors, but it doesn't have any positive flavors either. Tannins are too high, I mean, it's a white wine, it shouldn't have that many tannins. But yeah, the heat wave probably did reduce the quality of it anyway, even if it doesn't have, like, Mercaptan or whatever. Okay, and the Barbera, 62. Okay, so yeah, this did develop Mercaptan. And I only did the uh, pump over once per day instead of twice per day, which is what you need to, like, really reduce the chances of that happening. So, that was... I, I knew that was a risk. But, that's fine. I've got a lot of wine to sell. I should be able to make a decent amount of profit in these coming turns here. Okay, I've got a special order. Is it one I can fulfill? It is. I can give you some of the Chardonnay. Selling Nebbiolo to a supermarket. Dang, I've got a lot of wine. Yeah, I might as well just stick with, like, the highest income right now. Okay, I've got plenty of space to work with now. Have I cleaned everything that needs to be cleaned? No, not necessarily. But let's uh let's worry about treatments first. Let's see, Roche needs downy mildew. Costa needs powdery mildew. Let's clean this tank right here, and then. I should do the vertical press next. I can go here. I think I can only fit one more thing on the board. So yeah, let's do another cleaning. Let's do one of the... Let's do the traditional cask. Doesn't really matter how I position it, because it's going away next turn. Okay, so I've figured out everything about RNA except for the body. Maybe it needs to be 3 out of 10? Next turn. Did 
this is kind of like the th this part of the year is like the lull where you need where you can like get anything else that hasn't been taken care of done like treating your vineyards for diseases and that sort of thing cleaning anything that needs to be cleaned Man, I filled up this water, like, with a lot of ice, and it's mostly melted now, because I was drinking the rest of the, my cocktail that I had with dinner. Oh, uh, well, I, I've got, I've got two, are, you mean in real life? I mean, I, I drink a lot of Chardonnay. And I also sell it in this game as well. And that Chardonnay wine trend is still going on, so I can sell it for a higher price. Okay, yeah, I, I decide I, I'm treating Ginestra. Principe for powdery should be next. Actually, that might not be where I want to put it. I can fit... I can still fit two things on the sides. What else needs to be cleaned here? I've got one more cask and two bottling machines. I should at least clean one of my bottling machines. Yeah, okay, I think I'll, I'll clean another thing here. This vertical press. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else I can put this to make room for something else. Jeez, I, I have never had this much wine in stock before. That's crazy. But that's good, they're buying the, the 2035 Nebbiolo. I was worried they were going to neglect it in favor of the 2036. Okay, and so I've got enough money. So... I'm going to buy the small cask technology. And then I'll I'll purchase the cask itself a little later, maybe next turn. How much is it? For another employee, it's fifty thousand now. Yeah, all, all the twenty thousand employees are used up. And they go up to two hundred thousand if you decide to get all of them. Okay, I think I'm good to go here. Okay, we've got trimming available. So this is... Yeah, I said I was going to look at the description of this. 
Part of canopy management involves removing the top two centimeters of the growth tip of a shoot. Early in the season, vineyards that grow unevenly get tipped to give the slower shoots a chance to catch up, so... I don't really know what that translates to in terms of the gameplay. I, I just know it's like, it's another helpful thing that you can do. Let's see, what else we got here? I guess just, I should start treating uh, roach for powdery. Well, if that's true, then that's certainly a plus. Let's put this here. And since I've got, um... Hold on, wrong thing. Tool shed. So I've got the trimmer, which allows me to do the trimming operations. Oh no, this is what speeds up the trim trimming operations. What, al what allows you to do them? The old tractor does, okay. So yeah, you gotta watch out for like the quality or wear on both the old tractor and the trimmer as you do the trimming operations because they will both decrease over time. Uh, yeah, okay, so I was gonna... Okay, that's already going. Principe is being worked on. Brico needs to be treated for... powdery. Okay, I've only got two things left to clean. What else needs to be treated here? Principe for Downey will be coming up. And then I've got a little bit of time for the others. But I can't I can't start treating Principe for Downey until the uh, powdery treatment is done. So uh Right now, let's just go ahead and finish up this, these cleaning operations. Oh shit, this- I can't put this one here. I can only do one at a time. Is there a way I can make this fit? Not sure if there is. And I could put this here, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I'll only be able to clean one of these this turn, but that, that, yeah, that's fine. I have a feeling that doing a uh, two trimming operations at the same time is going to cause my uh, my tractor and my trimmer to break down. <laughs> if it happens, oh well. Still got three turns left on the Chardonnay wine trend. Okay, now we can just start doing crop thinning. Oh, and I can, yeah, I can harvest uh, Principe 
once its crop thinning is done. This is kind of weird because you look at this and it's like, I didn't do any crop thinning. Well, that's because my employees are doing it. Because I go to manage employees, yeah, you can see that they're crop thinning right now. I have it set to yes here. If I wanted to not crop thin, I could set it to no, but I don't really know why you would not want to do that. Because it'll increase the quality of your grapes if you do do it. So let's see. I kind of blocked this area off, unfortunately, on this turn. But I can put cleaning here. Brico and Roche are being treated. Prince of A for Downy Mildew is next. enough room to crop thin both of these. Yeah, that's good. So, okay. I, hold on. Before I decide, before I finalize that decision, let's think about my money here. I still don't need the small cask yet. I mean, I got the technology for it, but I haven't actually bought a small cask yet. So what I'm thinking... ...is I might want to get my next board upgrade. Because that'll cost me 50000 and I have enough for it right now. Once I get this board upgrade and the next one, that's going to be huge because it allow it will allow me to do more than one harvest at a time because the harvest takes up a 3x3 three three square. So early on, like you, you put the harvest down and that's all you can do until the harvest is done. But once you get the board size big enough, you can actually do multiple harvests at once. So yeah, I, th I think I want to get this. Let's go. So yeah, now I've got more space over here. All five of my vineyards are being treated right now. And the, yeah, this bottling machine is being cleaned. So I guess there's not really anything else I want to put here this turn. Two more turns left of the wine trend. <clears throat> yeah, this Chardonnay is going to be in a low supply by the end of this wine trend. And I'm going to have to wait until I make more. But in the meantime, I've got a lot of other stuff. I might actually have to buy more storage soon if I'm not able to sell this stuff quickly enough. Thankfully, storage is pretty dang cheap. Like, I can buy space for an extra 15,000 bottles for a mere 2,500 euros. And I've got space for it in the warehouse. I've got four empty squares here.
Okay, yeah, so at the moment I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. <laughs> now, okay. So now, so an exhibition is an event you, that you have to place on the board. That was something I wasn't sure about. Participation at wine exhibitions can increase your fame and attract new clients, but apparently you can also win money from doing this. But though it costs you money to enter as well. I know for getting first prize, you can get 10,000 euros. I don't know what else, what other prizes there are. So I think I should enter this just for the sake of experimentation. Okay, I, th I think I want to get this harvest going. You usually want to leave Chardonnay on the vine for a little bit before you harvest it. Because it needs a little bit of sweetness. If I'm remembering this right. Yeah, it's a 3 out of 10 sweetness as opposed to like a lot of the other wines are 2 out of 10. Yeah, all the other wines that I have are 2 out of 10. Chardonnay's the, the sweetest out of the, the ones that I have. So... I still feel like I should put this down now. Because it, like, it isn't the first turn. This is all going to open up next turn. I have room to clean one thing here. Okay, I'm not I'm not doing trimming anymore, so I won't worry about the old tractor. Let's focus on the cab tractor here. If I want to sell that much Barbera in a supermarket, I can usually get a better price for it than that. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel that one. Do this one instead. What did we get here? Great quality grapes. Nice. It really doesn't matter which tank I use. Oh yeah, I, I might need to buy a fifth tank. So that's, that's something else that I'll need to... How much room do I have in the winery right now? Four squares. Tank only takes one square. And the cask only takes one square, so I'm fine. I can get the, the small cask and another tank. Let's get... Welcome back, Rock. How was that? 
Let's get the small cat. How much does the tank cost? Not much. It's only 3,000. Yeah, let's get the small cask now. Okay, so I can do two harvests now. I don't know what the sweetness of Ginestra needs to be. So I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on uh, Coste first. Let's put it over here. Barely spicy at all. Well, I mean, as long as the flavor is decent. Start a crushing operation over here. Clean this. Clean this. Rico needs to be treated for downy mildew. Mildew. So let's do that. Okay, we're good there. Selling to a lot of restaurants this turn. The Chardonnay wine trend is over, unfortunately, so we're, no we're back to normal price there. My inventory is reducing, but not at a dangerous rate. I mean, I'm just starting to get to the harvest na season now, so... Uh, once we get through the winemaking process, my inventory will go up again. Yes, that trend was so 2036. Okay, yeah, let's just go to the next turn and let's see what the result of this uh, exhibition is. Nothing happened. I guess not, if you enter an exhibition, nothing happens unless you made a good enough wine. Is that how that works? Also, I have five new special orders. How did that happen? Did the exhibition, like, give me exposure or something? I can fulfill this one. Oh yeah, you will be entering an exhibition match tomorrow now that you've finally done all the uh, pre-Tower of the Gods work. Okay, now let's let's do that. Wow, another Chardonnay one. Well, these are, these are easy to fulfill. A Nebbiolo one I can fulfill. Nine thousand euros. Whoops, I didn't, uh, didn't click sell. And I can fulfill this one, too. That's crazy. Apparently, I, I could have gotten way more special orders by doing exhibitions. Had no idea. Yeah, the Nebbiolo sells for more. Dang, look at my profit this turn. 54,000 euros? I think that's the most I've ever gotten in a single turn. I've still got 23,000 bottles to spare. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Okay, I haven't checked out this harvest. Okay, I got good quality Arne grapes. That actually might be my best quality Arne grapes so far. Because my my first couple of harvests with Arne were pretty shitty. Oh, now it's raining, so I can't harvest this turn. What does the forecast say? 
supposedly it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Can't do trimming on that field either. So I'll just do what I can here. Anything else that needs to be cleaned? Working on the cab tractor. Okay, yeah, let's put the, the old tractor and the trimmer on there, too. Because I can't... I can't initiate... treatment on a rainy day, right? Yeah. So I might as well just do the cl all the cleaning that I can. Now that's an absurd amount of money that I'm making. I might be able to start upgrading my facilities to level 4 before I know it. Or get that next, uh, that next board upgrade, or get another employee. I've got, I've got a decision to make here. Okay, good. It's not raining today. Yeah, I'm at ninety-one thousand now, with twenty-five thousand more coming in. And I know they're, just judging from what I've seen on the Discord, there are people who are way better at this game than I am, but I feel like I'm doing not that bad at this point. So if I got the next board upgrade... I could do both of these harvests at the same time. Because that would, that would complete this row right here. I feel like I really need that. And I believe it'll let me do it since I'm... Even though it costs me a hundred thousand and I don't quite have that much right now because I've got 25,000 coming in I think it'll let me do that, but I'm gonna save right now just in case something goes wrong Speed runs for this game nobody on the discord has talked about doing a speed run that I've seen but I mean there are speed runs for everything so Maybe it's happened and we just don't know about it. Yes, I remember hearing about that game. Okay, yeah. Board upgrade. Bam. Yeah, so it puts me at negative 8,000, but with the, the 25,000 coming in, I think I'm okay. Is that right? Yeah, I saw Samsonite went back to streaming. I haven't gone into his stream or anything, but that's cool that he finally got back to it after however long he's been out of it. But yeah, welcome back, Nose. <laughs> it was awful, I bet. Yeah, there's not really... Like, no matter where I put these, it's gonna kind of block off some spaces here. But it's only gonna take me one turn. Oh, but yeah, I, since I don't have... 
I don't have another cab tractor, so that one is gonna take three turns. That's fine. Actually, can I buy another one? Yeah, but it costs 60,000. And I don't have the space for it. I would need to upgrade my uh, tool shed before I could get a second one. Yeah, that frog detective game? What was up with that game anyway? Oh, it tells you we are we are losing money. I should be okay though, right? Since I'm making twenty-five thousand here. Stay tuned for the sequel. Okay, so I don't I don't have enough space to do both of these at the same time. Sure gave Batman a run for his money. I'm gonna start the pressing first. That's still, I mean, that's still great quality. Even though the, quote, tannins are too high. I'm just gonna go with that anyway. Do I wanna position this any differently? No, I don't think it really matters. Uh, no, not really. Just this the, the goal was mostly to show off what I've accomplished since the last time I streamed this and like how the I've got a lot more going on with the five different vineyards as opposed to the two that I had previously. Bigger board space, more technologies and whatnot. I mean if I if I can start to upgrade these to level four, that would be great. I don't know if that will happen in this stream, but we'll see. I think these orders are fine how I have them. Yeah, see, I'm I'm fine. I'm not bankrupt. As long as you are Making enough money to get yourself out of the hole, you'll be okay. Okay, I need to get another tank. Let's do that now. I'm gonna buy another concrete tank. Average quality, what I mean, I guess that's the one with the unsuitable terror, so that's to be expected. Alright, um... I could start this harvest, and it'll, it'll, it'll only take me one turn. Does it really matter which side I put this on? Probably not. Do any of my... I can't clean my cab tractor? Is that already being cleaned? Oh no, it's being used because of the harvest, so I can't clean it. So the Chardonnay can be 
fermented. Yeah, because it has to be fermented before you can uh, start aging it. So I guess I can put this here. Okay, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't quite have the ideal sweetness, so I guess I should have kept it on the vine a little bit longer. I remember them saying on the Discord that the longer you ferment something, the more likely it is to acquire different flavors. So maybe I'll do this for the medium length here. I'll use this yeast. The cost I still needs to be treated for downy mildew. This looks, yeah, this is another case where I, I don't have enough room to do more than one operation here. Um... I kind of want to, like, get the one that's farthest ahead going, so let's, let's do some pressing here. So I, okay, so I still haven't determined the ideal body for our nay. It's less than four. It might be three. Wow, the body will not increase, even if I change the press intensity to the max? But that'll get me the most wine out of it. Alright, guess I'll do that then. I don't like how I've got all these, like, empty spaces here that I can't do anything with. I feel like they're was probably a smarter way to set this up. My, my quantity is still steadily decreasing, but... I still got a lot left. So I don't think it's a problem. Go to the next turn. Another local exhibition. Hmm, do I want to participate in this one? Well, I'll think about it later. Great quality. Barbera. They can start fermenting. So put it here. It's already at the ideal sweetness.
So let's just do that. We got two grapes to crush here. Got room for cleaning. Heck, I have room for the exhibition too. That was the only tool left that I needed to clean, yeah. I guess since I have room for this and I've got money, might as well put it there. sell that Barbera to the supermarket for that low of a price. Sell this Nebbiolo instead. That's El Supermercado. Good quality Chardonnay from my... Wow, that's a lot. I didn't expect to get that much. Okay, so I I can't fit that in one tank. I'm gonna have to sell the rest of the grapes. Noted, that, v that vineyard produces a fuck ton <laughs> of grapes. That's the first time I've produced anywhere near that amount in one harvest. I've got a sign and sell. Uh, but in order to get the next level of tank, don't I need... Yeah, the steel tank, um... I have to upgrade my winery first. Well, I know... At least I know next time when I do the pruning for this field to make a very low number of buds. Actually, what did I do this time? Just out of curiosity. Can I see that? Which, which one is this? Yeah, this is the right one. It says there was no pruning. I thought I did. Why do all of these say no pruning? Is that a bug? Hold on a second. Let me look at my like my employees. Hey quack. <laughs> Funny you should show up. Um we we got an achievement in this game earlier by clicking on this duck right here, and you're able to name it. And as you can see, I named it Quackity Quack. It didn't have enough na space for Quack Quackity Quack, so I had to shorten it a little bit. But yeah, there you are. You're a duck in this game. <laughs> uh, okay, what was I doing? Look at my employees. Pruning, yes. Pruning, yes. Pruning, yes. 
So, I have... Even if I forgot to prune for the vineyards that I'm handling myself, these all should have been pruned, because my employees are set to do that. But if I look at what's in my cellar here... This is Principe. No pruning. Oh, that's your Minecraft username? Nice. And this is Roche. No pruning. Wait, no, no, okay. Why is this blank? Because right underneath it says number of buds. And you can't have a number of buds unless you did pruning. I don't know, that, that confused me. So I think maybe they did do pruning. Okay, so that's low. That's very low. Where's, uh, yeah, Ginestra. Okay, Ginestra was low. I think because I planted so many plants on, on this field, it's making more, more than I can carry. Oh, really? <laughs> if, you, if you got that grape juice just sitting around and it's not being used, might as well turn it into wine. <laughs> Trying to save all, all your yeast from when your grapes are ready. Gotcha. Yeah, so Ginestra is definitely the biggest vineyard that I have right now. And I did a higher number of plants per acre. So that's why I'm getting so much out of it. So I guess what I need to do is set the number of buds to very low. And I need to have another tank on hand to be able to carry that much wine. Assuming changing this to very low won't get me underneath the capacity. It probably won't. Okay, so I've, I've learned that. Okay, so I've still got crushing to do here. Anything else I need to do? Tools are fine. Everything in the winery should be fine. Either because it's either clean or being... Oh, I didn't clean these vertical presses yet. Or actually, they already got used. I probably only need to clean one of these at most right now. Although, really, neither of them are dirty, so maybe I don't need to clean either one. Oh, yeah. You need to be treated. Let's go this way for downy mildew. <laughs> yes, you need to be treated, Quack. Um, I guess that's really the only tr other treatment I needed at the moment. So since I've got space, I might as well clean one of my vertical presses. Again, trying to sell... Barbera to El Supermercado. How much do I have of this? Not much of either vintage. Less than a thousand. So yeah, I need to... I kind of need to hang on to my Barbera a little more. 
So I just don't produce enough of it. How much Chardonnay do I have? Not a lot. How much Nebbiolo do I have? Eh. Arne is really what I have a ton of. <laughs> Super. <laughs> So yeah, I need I need to sell more RNA. Um I guess I'll sell the Nebbiolo here. Popped open a jar of his salsa. Okay, I think we're good to move on here. Uh, let's save again since I survived that situation that I wasn't 100% sure I was going to survive, but was pretty sure I was going to. All my tanks are filled up. There's not going to be any more harvesting this year, so I don't need to worry about any additional tanks at this time. Wine trend for a wine I don't have yet. Great. Got a special order here. Seventy five out of hundred for a red. Well, I did have. I think I did have a 75 out of 100, but not anymore. Oh, okay, yeah, we're selling our native to the supermercado now. I'm fine with that. Because I've got so much to spare. Almost out of Chardonnay. So since I have two vineyards producing Chardonnay, like that, that won't, that'll only be a temporary problem. Okay, so what's going on here? That's gonna get confusing once I have, like, both Chardonnay vineyards kind of going through the same processes. I'm not gonna be able to tell which one's for which. Okay, so what does this Chardonnay need right now? Oh boy. First time chat viewers. Yeah, that that ye that bacteria is just it reduces the acidity too much. Honestly, it's only one higher than the max. And since I can't get it to the ideal amount, it seems like I should just leave it alone and not do malolactic fermentation. Let me get my credit card. So I guess I should age it then. Traditional cask will get me exactly how much body I need for it. Mm. 
be a hot tub stream. <laughs> The RNA can also be aged or malolactic fermentation. It, yeah, we do need malolactic fermentation for this. Looks like native bacteria medium duration is the best bet here. <laughs> Nostrika is now playing Tomb Raider. Fit this over here. And then we've got both <laughs> trying to. <laughs> Is it not going well? <laughs> so we can ferment both the Nebbiolo and the Barbera. That sucks. If I ferment it any longer than that, the sweetness will go down too much. Oh, right, this is a Nebbiolo. You want to punch the shit out of that. Gorge yourself with sushi, nice. So I, th I think I'll still have a, an opportunity to add more tannins to it. Right? Let me look at the red wine process again. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, because you ferment it first, then you press it. So the pressing will add tannins. So I don't have to max it out right at this stage. Pressing will also add body. It has no body right now? How is that? I've never seen a zero body and zero typicity. What happened to this harvest? <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Not even a one. <laughs> That's six turns. Do I really want to do it for that long? Does it not have a body stat because it hasn't been pressed yet? Is that just something that I've never noticed before? I'm not sure. Uh, 
Oh, what the heck? Let, let's let's ferment this for a long ass time and see how this goes. Adding all the tannins we can. But hold on. The the alcohol the alcohol volume is only at thirteen point four. Apparently, it can't go any higher than this at the medium level. So does that mean I'm like not getting any more out of it? Maybe I should do that instead. That'll still get me to 7 out of 10 acidity, or tannins. Okay, yeah, let's try this. That way it won't take so freaking long. It's still gonna take a long time. Okay, Barbera. Let's, let's do the two per day, even though it makes the tannins a little too high. Maybe we can get a Barbera without her captain this time. I didn't get a heat wave this year, so my wines should turn out to be higher quality. Okay, that took way too long for me to decide on. Eighteen grilled cheese sandwiches, dang. Anything else I need to clean? Yeah, I've got one more press to clean. Only three left? Well, you made a good amount then. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, now we're in winter. Thankfully, it's not snowing. So we can... Oh, no, it is snowing. Shit. But hey, I have, for the first time in this game, six-digit cash. 117,000 euros. I think I usually go with uh, tomato soup with grilled cheese, but I, yeah, vegetable beef is, uh, sounds good, too. Yes, it's literally the closest I will get to snow. Although, <laughs> if I'm going to Japan in December, there's a possibility it could snow then. That would be an adventure. Okay, so what do I want to do with this money? I could get another board upgrade, but I don't think I need it right now. That's a good question, Quack. I haven't heard anything to the contrary, but... Might want to look into that. <laughs> oh, I can already get the steel tank technology. I was thinking, thinking I needed to upgrade the winery another level. Maybe I should get that now.
Yeah, let's get the steel tank. Shouldn't cost much to actually buy it. Yeah, and I've got I've got two more spaces left on the board, so I I have room for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna get that now. So that way, hopefully next harvest I will have enough tanks for all of my wine. I won't have to sell any, any of my grapes. Yeah, ask Godzilla. <laughs> So I've got bottling and pressing to do. How much does the next press cost? 50,000 for the technology. And then 6,000 for the actual part. Which would get rid of most of the money that I have. And it takes two spaces, so I would probably need to get rid of my, uh, my vertical screw press. But I'm, I'm not really in a hurry to get that. I'll wait until I upgrade the winery, and then I have more space. get another kind of yeast. I apparently need both of these in order to unlock the yeast lab. Which, I, I want to get that, because apparently that's like the big key to giving your wines lots of different flavors and increasing the quality of it. So... Yeah, let's get this one. Like, if, I think I've already done most of my fermenting, so I don't... I mean, a lot of it's being done right now, so I don't really have the option to use it this year. Here, I guess. Wait, is this ready to be bottled? Okay, so yes, here's where this is getting confusing. Is there a way for me to tell at a glance which Chardonnay this is? Because I've got two of them. Okay, so this one... The one that's being pressed is for Ginestra. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think I'll be going within 12 miles of Fukushima. Fukushima. Okay, so this is good quality, and there's a ton of it.
How did that happen? The sweetness in this is so high. Is that because I ha I haven't had the opportunity to for it to do malolactic fermentation yet? Yeah, because we're still at the press phase here. No, that's the bottling. I want to do the pressing first. Morning. Actually, hold on. Let's let's move this. Put that right here. there to be room for the pruning once that's available. Uh, what does the forecast say? Ugh. Apparently tomorrow it's gonna snow, and then two days after that it's gonna snow. That doesn't give me a lot of time for pruning. put this here. So that's going to take a while to bottle. Cask can be cleaned. I can't really do anything else while it's snowing. So I'll just put this wherever. Selling as much RNA as I can. I still have a ton of it though. Oh, okay, it's not snowing today. So we can do pruning. See how I'm gonna fit this all together. So this Chardonnay can be fermented. This is my Ginestra Chardonnay. Got another yeast to choose from this time. I guess short would be best to keep the correct amount of sweetness here. Actually, 
move, move this over here. Now on second thought, let's put the the Barbera press in there. And it's already got way more tannins than it needs. I never get a large amount of Barbera. here. I'm just, I'm gonna set everything to very low. The RNA can either be aged or bottled. I still, I still haven't figured out the ideal body for RNA. But I feel like it's gotta be three. So... It's at two right now, and it'll go to four if I age it at all. So I guess I just won't age it. I have two bottling machines, so I, I could bottle this right now. I'm getting... I'm getting 8,000 here. And I'm getting... It's not gonna tell me how... How much I'm gonna get from this uh, Chardonnay? Space do I have? Okay, yeah, that'll be fine. I'll have enough space for that. Still making a profit, even with a bottling operation going on. I've got enough room to treat one of my vineyards. Thank you. 
Okay, my Barbera sold out. But my next batch of Barbera is ready for the next step. Don't want a malolactic fermented. So we can go ahead and start aging it. Give it the small cask. Yeah, if I age it for a long time in the small cask, that gets me the body that I need for it. down to very, some very small amounts of some of these. Hold on, ne Nebbiolo 2035. Chardonnay 2036. Yeah, I can't I can't sell out of both of them. There's only one order for the Chardonnay, so uh, yeah, let's sell out of the Nebbiolo. Yeah, that puts that off the list there. Still got 10,000 bottles left. Start wine tasting. Where do I want to put this? What about this other Chardonnay? What does it need to do right now? Does it need... It really doesn't need reduced acidity, so let's not worry about malolactic. It needs more body. Put in a traditional cask. Clean this tank. Press this Nebbiolo. Yeah, it'll get to max tannins no matter what, but the... Why is the body so low? What did I do this time that made the body that low? I mean, I still haven't aged it yet. That has yet to come, so it... It might not be that big of a concern, but still... <laughs> yes, it's like milk. What's the quality do? It's 
gonna be average no matter what I set it to. So, sure, let's press the shit out of it. Let's start doing some more treatment. Roche needs downing, Coste needs powdery. I don't think anything's in desperate need of being cleaned right now. Yeah, we're, I'm almost out of everything besides my RNA. Cancel this Barbera. Chardonnay can stay there, is that selling out? Nebbiolo. Cancel this. Okay, so I got 17 Barbera. There's a 16 right there, but there's not a 1 to go with it. What about the Nebbiolo? There's 31 of these. Six and I can't sell twenty five. Oh, because there's a two right here. Hold on. See a four Nebbiolo, so yeah, I guess this is the way to do it. Okay, yeah, that that'll sell all my Nebbiolo, and then I guess to sell as much of the Barbera as I can, I can get to sixteen. So we'll have one bottle left. Alright. I guess we'll have to get rid of that last bottle in the next turn. I hope I don't get like a bunch of orders for that one bottle. Stuff that appeared over here. 84. That's, I mean, that's the highest rating I've gotten on one of my wines in a while since I had those two heat waves in a row. And we got a flavor of vanilla. So that's, that's so weird. Why do the tannins matter at all in a white? I 
I might be able to fulfill a special order with that. And I can start doing wine tasting for our nay. Nebbiolo does not need malolactic. So it can be aged. My small cask is in use, so that's as good as I can do on the body there. This Chardonnay can be bottled. Let's clean this. Oh, and it's snowing again, so I can't do any additional treatments. But this is the last day of winter, so... Shouldn't have to worry about any other snow. I think it only snows in winter in this game. I have not seen snow appear in any other season. Sometimes you'll get rain, though, in other seasons. Warehouse is not enough space. Wow, I'm making more than I thought I was going to. 11,000 bottles. Well, I mean, I can fix that. This only stores 5,000. I feel like I should just sell it and then buy a pallet rack in its place. There, now, now I have 45,000 space for bottles. And with an additional 11,000, that'll put me up to, well, yeah, about 35,000. I might end up having to buy another one of these. Man, that bottling is expensive. There, so, oh wow, there's, that's why it... Because I can actually make 16,000 bottles of this. Holy shit. <laughs> so that would put me at... About 40,000. Damn. <laughs> I might need to upgrade the warehouse soon, not just to make more space, but so that I can uh, make more sales per turn. Alright, I mean, I have the money for that, thankfully, but it's going to take five turns to bottle all that.
Okay. What, what did I do with the Nebbiolo here? It's aging. <clears throat> Okay, and now I'm getting a whole lot of RNA orders. One Barbera. Yeah, I should, I should take one of these Barbera orders just to get it out of the way. Cancel this one. There's nothing else I can do. And now it's spring. What do we got here? 72 out of 100 for 8,400 bottles. I'll take it. At some point, I'm gonna have to, like, start producing higher quality wines, though, if I want to get the achievements, since there's an achievement for... For every wine, if you get it to 85 out of 100, there's an achievement for that. And then there's also an achievement for getting any wine to 100. The closest I've ever gotten there is 97. So if I'm making 16,000 bottles of that... Okay, yeah, I've still got room. So much RNA. I kind of want to hang on to my Chardonnay right now in case I end up with another wine trend. I no, I think it's gonna take too long, because not only is there all this stuff that I can do through the story mode, there's also the challenge mode where you're like given restrictions and you have to like make this kind of wine in a certain amount of time with this kind of soil and it might be really shitty soil and it 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 sounds like it'll end up being too much for me. My, my main goal right now is to more or less purchase all of these technologies and purchase all of the land. I mean, this last one, this is 1.5 million for this one, so that, that'll take a while to get that much money. Okay, what was I doing? Yeah, I wanna I wanna hang on to some of my Chardonnay. Yeah, I'm still making twenty thousand from that, so that's Still pretty good. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking I I should upgrade the warehouse soon. Just cause I'm making so much wine and I can't sell it all. <laughs>
Yeah, and then I, I, well, by contrast, I'm only making 1,800 bottles of Barbera. Don't get it. I mean, I know it's the smallest field, but that's so much fewer than I'm making of Arne. Actually, hold on. Did I, uh... I guess I never did. I I never adjusted the pruning that I was assigning these to. Well, they're they're all on very high. Well, I mean, I guess I'll keep Brico on very high, but I'll I'm gonna drop these ones. Yes, totally. Dragon has a wine named after it. Okay, so did that did that save my settings? No, it did not. I guess I need to hit confirm. Because that can stay where it's at. Put this at very low. Confirm. Why can't I also... Huh? What's going on here? What did I just do? What happened to Principe? Why does it not have... Why does this employee not have a vineyard assigned? I guess because I'm on Roche right now. Okay, so if I back up and go here... I have to reset this from scratch. Hold on, what... Do these settings apply... No, this has got to be for Roche's settings specifically. Oh, I have Brico on medium. Let's put Brico on very high. Yeah, that's good there. Do I have Brico on the right? Yeah, Gio. However you say that. I think these are all good now, as I'm dropping frames. Not that it's hugely important in a game like this. Okay, Let's start working on these processes. I could hire another employee, but... I feel like I'm making do with the amount of space that I've got. So I think I'll be alright. Clean. <laughs> I 
I, if only. <laughs> That's a lot of Chardonnay sales I see there. I don't think I want to sell that much Chardonnay. Most of the orders that I haven't taken are also Chardonnay. It's like, shit, I've got three different types of RNA here. Buy those. Be nice if there was a way to like market one specific kind of wine. Like, hey, <laughs> buy this. It's good. And then people would come and buy it. I won't mess with anything there then. Shacho. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard that term in other things, not just Yakuza 4. I think we're ready to go to the next turn now. Save again. Tasting here. So we're still early spring. So yeah, I think I think we'll have time to get stuff cleaned and then treat my vineyards accordingly. first. Oh yeah, I never actually bought a steel tank. Maybe I should get that now. With that one space on the board that I have left. Is there anything else that I really want here? Ask Akiyama for a loan. What kind of test would I have to pass? Okay, yeah, I'll get that steel tank. Wait. Where is it? On my list here. Oh, I can... I can scroll with the mouse wheel. So now I have two steel tanks. I mean, I don't need that many right now. But... I guess it won't hurt to have it. I can always sell one of my fiberglass tanks if I need to. I literally can't sell this stuff fast enough. I'm gonna cancel this one. Don't want to sell Chardonnay to a supermarket. But yeah, like, it, it's kind of crazy to me now, because I think I started this game with 35,000 euros, 
and now I'm making on average like close to that much per turn as a profit, sometimes more than that. And clearly there's quite a ways to go. I mean, there's still four more vineyards that I don't have yet. Ninety-six out of a hundred. That's my second highest wine ever. Too bad there's only 1,800 bottles of it. I better save that shit. Hope that there's a... Um... A, a wine trend for Barbera. Uh, the, the, the shitty wine snob that was trying to put us out of business? No, he, he skipped town and was never heard from again. Yeah, I, I think I, the Nebbiola was the one that I was aging for a really long time, and so that's why it's just now able to be bottled. Yes, a mysterious vine pruning accident. I've got 88,000 right now. I could save up for a hundred thousand and then upgrade the warehouse. It's probably my best move. Because then once I get once I get the warehouse upgraded, I can then get merchandising, which like the guided tours, just gives me free money every turn, so that'll be nice. Um... I had another thought and then I forgot what it was. You got your wine started, nice. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at the prices of these. They're, they're probably all way too much for me right now. Yeah, it looks like 200,000 is the cheapest one. And I would wanna I'd want to get another grape available before I get this next plot of land anyway. Actually, what... what is this one like? I guess it likes, uh... Cortez, or Cortez, however you say that. And that's, uh... No, I'm not going to be able to see it from there. I need to get two grapes and upgrade the the tool shed to level 5 before I can get that. So yeah, I feel like I'm still quite a ways off from planting in the, the next one. Although, the, ne the one above that... That's 500,000. This is 380,000. Wait, so... This one's even better for Cortese? Yeah, they're, I guess both of them are good. And one's even better than the other. 
Maybe Dolcetto doesn't really have a place, then. Unless I were to, like, uproot one of my other vineyards and plant it there instead, but I'd have to, like... I'd probably have to save Scum just to see if it works on one of my current vineyards. I know... This one likes Nebbiolo. Because the, my current Nebbiolo plot is, like, not good. I'll have to put something else there later. Okay, so yeah, I think... I think upgrading the warehouse is my next move here. And yeah, the, there's a lot of space on the board right now, so I can... Uh, I can treat fields and clean stuff. Okay, so... Principe Powdery. Oh, yeah, it could be, like, the, the, the noises of, like, the farm tools or something. Or, actually, you might be hearing my computer. <laughs> Wait, what do I need on this? Powdery mildew. Ginestra also needs powdery mildew. powdery mildew. I'm trying to think of how I want to fit everything else here. Let's let's pull these up. Just so I have them at my disposal. I can do two more treatments. Roche and uh, Roche needs one. Okay, let's put let's clean one of these presses. And treat Roche for powdery mildew right here. Alright, so we've we filled out the board pretty well there. I'm 
sure. Yeah, I can sell my RNA to the supermarket. Can't get rid of the stuff fast enough. Oh, new special order. Oh yeah, I, I, I probably could have fulfilled this one a while back. Let's do that. I can do this one. I can do this one. Nice, three special orders in one turn. Yeah, I think I think it's time to upgrade the warehouse. So it'll give me more board space, and I'll be able to do 20 orders a turn instead of 15. It'll take three turns to do it. That's fine. I already looked at these. Yeah, we're good to go. Wine Trend Barbera! Which I just made a really good one. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of it. We will make do with this higher price. Can put this wine tasting here. Principe needs a downy mildew. mildew. Brico needs downy mildew. off so I can just like start cleaning stuff Everything set up here. But this stuff will go away next turn, so I'll have more room. Definitely, yeah, I'm getting 37 euros a bottle for this Barbera. Holy shit. Its normal price is only 32. I'm getting a $5 a bottle profit. 5 euro a bottle profit. Sell this an, an additional Barbera if I wanted to. It's not really worth it, though. I'm 
Unless I wanted to save some of my Chardonnays. Yeah, maybe I will. Let's let's cancel this one and sell that one Barbera in its place. Five hero profit. And it's raining. 82 out of 100 on this RNA. We got two different flavors on it. Vanilla and honey. That seems like a decent combination to me. But the tannins are too high, even though it's white. But hey, we got 16,000 fucking bottles of it, so... It doesn't have to be a... The, the best wine ever when you got that much of it. Th this is the, definitely the closest I'll get to rain in summer. That mythical August rain. And it's mythical in July, too. have this set up well to, for like a lot of space. I can clean these, but what's the forecast here? It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. All of these are one turn. So this whole thing will disappear. And then once once the warehouse is upgraded, I can start selling 20 orders a turn. I guess it didn't... How did that happen? I have two different 2037 RNAs. And how come this says Chardonnay right here? Because isn't... What actually is this? Hold on. Wait, so is this actually... This is actually a Chardonnay. Why was it named as an Arnay? How the hell did that happen? I didn't rename anything. I know you can rename your wines, but why would I want to? <laughs> Okay, so this RNA is actually a Chardonnay. That's gonna confuse me. That is what I planted here, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, plant Chardonnay. That's weird. Getting some good Barbera sales here. So I've got 1500. So I guess I like I shouldn't really be I, I should like start getting rid of some of my lower priced Barberas place them with something else raining. Yeah. Okay. Again, it's it's giving me the wrong name here. Cuz this is definitely Nebbiolo cuz it's on the raw it's unsuitable terror and high tannins. But but it's calling it an RNA and I never renamed it. That seems like another bug. Yeah, there, there do seem to be a fair amount of bugs that they're still trying to work out in this game. I, I, I see people post about it on the Discord all the time, and th the ones that I've seen so far today are ones that I haven't seen people report before, so... I don't know, if I, if I get, like, not lazy, I might, like, take screenshots of them and send it to them. But I probably will be too lazy. Okay, we got a full board at our disposal now. I'm making 50,000 this turn. 30,000 on Barbera alone. Are they trying to, like, buy my whole fucking stock of Barbera? I mean, there, there's a lot of Barbera sales there, but I feel like that... Hold on, let me look at this again. Color grapes for oh he wants eight hundred and three bottles of that. Ooh. Uh I'm not sure if that's worth doing, because that's a ton. That's almost everything that I have. Hold on, let me let me cancel all, all these Barbera orders. Just out of curiosity. That profit is, I mean, it's pretty comparable. 
to what I'm getting from the individual order is 803 bottles. How, how many bottles was I selling here? Okay, I think if I, if I did the rough math in my head right, I think selling, doing the individual orders would actually be more bottles than doing the special order. What if Hanna Barbera wanted to buy her Barbera? I still don't know if I want to do this because it's a 10% discount whereas I feel like if I just be a little more patient with selling the Barbera I can I can make a total profit of more than that Cancel this. Cancel this. 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 kind of close. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to stick with the individual orders. Okay, so I'm, I can do 20 a turn now, so I've got seven more to choose from. I'll gladly sell any Arnay. Especially if it's not 2037. Oh, that's so confusing, because these are both called Arnay 2037. But one's a Chardonnay, and one's an Arnay. <laughs> Is there a way to tell at a glance which one it is? <laughs> I mean, there's the selling price, I guess, if I paid attention to that. The Arnay is worth a little bit more.
rest of these are all Barbera, so I, I mean, I guess I'll sell the top value ones here. And that still gives me a hefty profit of 42,000 this turn. Hey, pizza. 43.333, nice. Um, okay. Um, got these two trimming operations. So now that the warehouse has been upgraded, what else do I want? I got so much more room here now. Oh, right, yeah, I want the, uh, the merchandising. And I guess I can get that now, since I've got this profit coming in. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save right now just in case, because with the bugs that we've encountered so far, maybe it'll just cause me to fail. <laughs> Now do I have to purchase the actual building, or... No, there's not a... There's not a building for it? I guess I'll have to look for it next turn. Okay, anyway, let's get this trimming going. <laughs> You're just a, a quote fiend right now, pizza. <laughs> uh, my tools are all in good shape, right? Yeah. So let's start cleaning this stuff. It really doesn't matter where I put this stuff because it's all going to get done in one turn. I guess I've got room for, uh... I can treat, uh, Coste for downy mildew. Is that all I want to do now? You're in tears at the moment. <laughs> Jeez, I'm still at 38,000 bottles. We, we gotta sell this stuff. Crop thinning time. Oh, and an exhibition's available. I, I should enter this one. Maybe I'll actually win something this time. I sure have said a lot of stuff.
Okay, and then I've cleaned everything. I really don't need to do any other treatments. It's kind of weird just leaving the board that empty, but uh, the harvest will be happening soon, so that'll fill up the board quite nicely. selling Barbera for here. Let's get rid of this lowest priced one. Wow, my stock of Barbera is still dropping real fast. I gotta be a little more strict about who I sell it to. Because I still got seven turns left of this wine trend. <laughs> Hundred days effect. Seems weird to do it, but I'll I'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, now we got a lot of cleaning to do, and I can do a harvest. Although I might want to wait a little bit on that. What did my last what was the acidity of my last Chardonnay? Which might have actually been named RNA. God, this is getting real confusing. And oh yeah, and then I've got a a Nebbiolo named RNA as well. Uh. Okay, what which field am I looking? I'm looking for Principe. So not that one. Not that one. This one. So uh, yeah, I had a I had a sweetness of two on that one, so I guess I harvested it too early. See, I don't think it's it tells you anywhere like how long you waited to harvest. Yeah, I don't see anything like that. But yeah, I, I won't I won't harvest this turn. These two are being crop thinned. Doesn't matter where I put the stuff, because it's all going to disappear next turn. Okay, I'll, I'll only keep this top selling. Barbera around, get rid of these lower priced orders. I 
guess that's good for that. So again, three. I can harvest three things. I can only do two of them at once. Although if I if I bought this next board upgrade, then I'd be able to do four at once. So I think I want to do Ginestra and Coste first, because th those both need an acidity of two, right? Or no, Co uh, Ginestra is also Chardonnay, so that needs to wait a little while. But yeah, Arnay needs a sweetness of two, so yeah, that should be harvested right away. But now it's since it's, now it's going to take three turns to get these. Maybe I should start this now. Actually, put this up here. Put this down here. So where is my merchandising? I bought the technology for it. Increases income each turn. scroll over. Oh my god, that that keeps tripping me up. There's the merchandising. Size 4. But yeah, let's let's get it. 10,000. Might eventually have to rearrange some stuff to make more room. Maybe I should do that now. Okay, and now the merchandising shows up. It's 1500 a turn, on top of the 1000 that I'm getting per turn with the guided tours. So that's just a, a free 2500. I've got everything that I want in the, the winery like I don't have any room so it's like if there's if it turns out there's something else I need then I would need to sell something or upgrade it real fast which I don't quite have the money for although I mean I still could because I'm making over a hundred thousand by the next turn also wow I have five new special orders because I did that exhibition So I haven't won any awards yet. When does that happen? Do I have to go to like a higher level exhibition for that? Because right now I'm only doing local exhibitions. 
but you can do national, and you can do Europe, and you can do America, and you can do Asia. I don't know. I could get a horizontal press. Or, no, because I don't have any room in my winery right now. I need to upgrade the winery first. Oh yeah, to get that, to get this board upgrade, I would have to get this one first. Uh, what do I want? Maybe the horizontal press? that's something I can actually get right now. Most everything else that I want to get would require me to upgrade either the tool shed or the winery. I can't, no, I can't get this right now because I don't have the room for it. I could buy the technology, but I can't buy the press. How much space does it take up? I think it's two. Yeah. I don't really want to sell anything. Maybe I should upgrade the winery next. Okay, well, let's look at these special orders. Bam. Bam. <laughs> I guess I, I have no more Nebbiolo, so I can't... Or, or, or maybe I don't have a Nebbiolo with a quality that high. Do that one. None of these are, like, real good Barbera prices. I think maybe I will just not sell any Barbera this turn. You guys gotta fight for it if you want your Barbera. I might just go ahead and upgrade the winery right now. Seems like a good time to do it. So let's save. So that'll change from a 6x4 to an 8x5. That should give me a 
good amount of extra space. I can I can clean some of my tools. Okay, so I, th I think I'll go ahead and, like, get my winery upgraded, and then we'll stop there. Because that, that'll, that'll mean that I'll, I got two of my facilities upgraded this stream. That seems like a good amount of progress. Alright, I think we are good to go there. First harvest. This is, is this actually RNA? What field was this? I think it is, because if it was my if it was my massive Chardonnay field, I'd be. I'd have to like, put it in multiple tanks. Gotta start harvesting that too. Like, since I have some extra space, I can uh, treat Ginestra for downy mildew. the heck, where are my good Barbera prices? This is a 96 out of 100 wine, people. You should be paying more than that. Wait, what? I could have sworn when I canceled that Barbera. What the hell's going on here? Right now this is 3186 a bottle. Okay, yeah, I'm selling that one. I, I was getting confused, I guess. Yeah, we have a couple of good prices here. And, uh, yeah, only 214 bottles left, so gotta be picky about it.
Okay, so we got 6,500 6, gallons. Yeah, it lets, you, it lets you split it between two tanks. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do a steel tank and a fiberglass tank. But you still... like, do all the operations on that line as one, even though it's taking up two different tanks. Okay, start harvesting this. That's that's all I have room for. Three turns left of Barbera, and I am running out of it. Yeah, that that'll be most of it right there. Winery will be upgraded this turn. Okay, so I got average quality Nebbiolo, which is fine because it's on bad soil. And do a local exhibition. Good quality Chardonnay. 8,200 gallons. So... I'm getting... I'm getting more Chardonnay than I can carry in one tank from both of my Chardonnay fields? Yeah, this is too much for it to go in a steel tank and a fiberglass, so... Steel and concrete it is. Hey, Pantoma. Yeah, I won't be going too much longer. Just making some wine. Okay. I didn't start this harvest yet. I thought I did. Okay, so what what have I obtained so far? Arne, Chardonnay, Nebbiolo. Yeah, I mean I've never done it myself. I've only ever done it in this video game, but I imagine it is not an easy task. Clean this. Go ahead and go on the exhibition. Maybe put it over here. have a horizontal press yet. That sweetness is super high. That's fine, we can get rid of some of that in fermentation. Have 
I, uh... Look at Arne's traits again. Okay, 3 out of 10 has got to be the ideal body for Arne. this down here. Get this, this crushing operations going. Anything else I want to put in this empty spot here? Wow, that that cab tractor is not in good shape. I haven't had a chance to clean it between harvests. It's probably going to break after this. This stuff should all be good. Oh, do you, Pantoma? <laughs> is that right? Yeah, nobody wants raisin wine. Okay, I guess there's not anything else I want to put there unless I want to do some treatment. I guess I should. Um... Let's do that. Oh yeah, let's let's look at my upgraded winery here. It actually it looks different from the outside. I don't know if I ever noticed that these start to look different from the outside, but like I can really tell this time. Like that it looks like a pretty upscale winery right now. Yeah, look at all this extra space I have now. That is awesome. So with the new winery... Let's see, if I get this yeast, I could then get the yeast lab. Or I could get the horizontal press. I mean, really, either one of these seems like a good idea. Because if I get the horizontal press, I could then get the pneumatic membrane press, which is the best press out of all of them. I honestly don't know which one's going to be better in the in the long run, the press or the yeast lab. I'm I'm curious about toying around with the yeast lab, so I guess we'll we'll go for this first. I'll get this this yeast here, and now once I have enough money, I'll be able to get the yeast lab. But that is. Probably something I will show off whenever the next time I stream this game will be, which probably will be quite some time from now. Probably not until after I've played Persona 4. Okay, let me look at my orders. Eight Barbera is all I got. I guess I might as well get rid of it. Because I've only got two turns left on the wine trend. This K 
cancel this one. So out of all these Arnais, two of them are actually not. This one's a Chardonnay and this one's a Nebbiolo. I've still got 27,000 bottles just sitting there, waiting to be sold. Home brewing, that kind of home brewing. <laughs> well, uh, quack, quackity quack, who was in here earlier, he makes wine at home. I don't think I'd have the... Pro probably wouldn't have the patience to do it myself. I just enjoy making what other people... or drinking what other people make. Oh, Quack is still here. <laughs> Poor K. Noble Stos. Cheaters away. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to change anything else on these orders. Oh, you do mead too, and fermented hot sauce. Interesting. I've, I've never had mead. I don't think there's like a lot of places around here you can get it. Okay, well, yeah, I, I am starting to get tired, so I think I will leave it here. And from this point, I will continue the game on my own time, and then eventually we'll come back to this and stream it again once I've made more progress. Hopefully I will have, by that point, I'll have uh, conquered some of these remaining plots of land and made some decent wines out of it. And sorry you look, kind of just got here, Pantoma, but I have been going since like 7.30 my time, so it's been uh, almost four and a half hours now. But yeah, um, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. Uh, we have people coming to clean the carpets on Wednesday, and I'm not sure if I'm, if, if, like, preparing for that is going to make it hard for me to stream, and then streaming on Wednesday is probably not likely, just because the floors will, or the, the carpets will all be damp and whatnot, but, uh, hopefully by Thursday I'll be able to get back into it if I'm not able to do it on Tuesday. But yeah, if there's a stream tomorrow, then it won't be this. It'll be something else, probably on Steam. Something shorter than Yakuza 4. Because, yeah, we need to play some shorter games for a while. But yeah, that's all for tonight. Thanks, guys, for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a good night.